Hello, today we're going to design a simple printed circuit board using MG Chemicals positive photoresist method. Before we get started, you'll need these three kits. Our positive prototyping kit, our exposure kit, and our etching process kit. Okay, so to get started, we'll need to take the items out of our photofabrication kit. The first step that we are going to do is the exposure process. Now to begin, there is a white protective cover that must be peeled off the board. It's best to peel off from a corner, applying even pressure very slowly to help minimize any resist from being lift off the board. You will see the green resist there. So we'll put the artwork on top, placing it in the middle of the board. In our exposure kit, we have a, a clear acrylic plastic that is used to hold the artwork firmly on top of the board to prevent moving and help minimize any undercutting of the sunlight under the traces. Now we turn on our exposure kit, and the exposure time is for 10 minutes. While we're waiting for the exposure process, it will give us an opportunity to make up our developing solution. Now that I have my gloves on, it's safe for me to pour the developer. I'll put 50 mils of developer into the tank. Now I'll mix in 500 milliliters of water. And our developing solution is now ready to go. In addition to having our developing solution ready, we should have some rinsing water ready as well. And I just have a tray here. Awesome. Now I think our exposure process is done, so I will turn off the light. And I will so, now I'll take the acrylic weight off our board, put our artwork to the side, and I'll immediately put it into the developing solution. Using our smoother brush, we will begin to rub off the exposed developer. You see it quickly image quickly appears. We need to rinse off the developer from the board in the water. Here we go. This is our presynthesized board with the photoresist and the green traces and bare copper. The bare copper is what is going to be etched off in the etching process. For our next step, the etching process. What I have done here is I've set up one of our simple etching tanks. And I've elected to use ammonia persulfate for this process for demonstration. The reason why I'm choosing to use ammonia persulfate is that it is clear and you will be able to see the etching process more clearly. I do recommend ferric chloride solution as it is much more consistent and the etching process is about twice as fast as with ammonia persulfate. With this simple etching kit, what we have is our ammonia persulfate with warm water and I have a sparging unit with with air agitation on our air pump. Now to use this system we'll place the board on top of the sparging unit. Now we'll place this carefully inside our etching solution inside our etching tank. Now I will plug in the air pump and these air bubbles will assist in the etching process. 